Greetings and welcome. My name is Jake Rayson. I'm a wildlife and food forest garden designer. And the other day I was doing chop and drop mulching using comfrey. Uh, and today I'm just gonna plant some comfrey out. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to establish your own little comfrey patch. So uh, this is the kind of orchard area. It's a bit of a, a bit sunny. <laughs> uh, and I planted some fruit bushes, some red black currant, red currant. Uh, gooseberry and there's a couple of cherry here and then I don't know if you can see that there's a there's a couple of, of plums down there and what I've done I've taken the, uh, the, the the leaves from the comfrey and I've chopped them up and I've dropped it and this is from comfrey which is in a different bed and I think oh I really ought to plant out a little patch here now comfrey likes a damper damper conditions and possibly part shed it won't this is actually quite a dry spot but i've got some big old chunks of comfrey and i'm going to put them in the shade so hopefully they'll be they'll be okay so i'm just going to show you i've just dug this up using a uh, tree spade it's my favorite spade it's one of my favorite implements just because it's so versatile and uh, this is and i've just split the comfrey you can see where i split it with a with a spade and dug it up and it just grows and grows. Now what you can do, if you haven't got that much, you can cut off like a couple of inch lengths like that. You can cut them off, pot them on and grow them on. Do be aware that slugs like baby comfrey plants, so be a bit, bit, bit careful of them. Once it gets to this side, size, there's no, <laughs> there is no stopping them. Um, and then yeah, be a little bit careful where you're gonna put them because they are, they, they, they will kind of take over, not take over an area, uh, but you can just, just cut them back, you know, cut them back, dig them out, put them on the compost. They'll just keep on growing and keep on growing. Uh, and they're a really good resource to have dotted around the garden. So what I've got in my own forest garden is I'll put a clump of comfrey right next to, yeah, about, around about here, next to the tree, and then chop and drop straight onto it. But here, because it's, uh, it's on a bit of a slope, and it's quite dry, south facing, and there's not that much moisture in the soil. What I'm gonna do is I'll put them over here. So I've gotta be a little bit careful. There's some Roos um, uh, sumac, uh, what's it called? Stag's horn sumac, beautiful uh, branches. This has all been cut back with like kind of velvety hairs on them. And then they have edible berries. It does grow its suckers, as you can see, and it does take over quite a lot. So you've gotta be a bit careful with it. Uh, but I'm going to put the comfrey uh, down round about here and then cut back the bramble and cut back the sumac you know, as and when that comes up and then there'll be like a nice big patch of bramble here and I can chop it and then just pop it around on the fruit bushes and the fruit trees as and when required. So that's nice and easy. So that's a little job that I'll do now. So I'll pop those. There's, I've got three big chunky roots. And I'll put them in. So there we go. I hope that's useful and speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.